we get? I can't wait to try this. What is it? Milk. Is it fresh? Just squeezed from the cow. Really? Kind of. <laughs> See, the ladies are still out putting in the different jars. So why are they doing this? Are they measuring, measuring. Oh, they're measuring. We would have to keep a record for the farmers. At the end of the month, they have to pay it to the farmers. Oh. Build the above here. So this is a place where basically they... Come with it, yes. Like a cooperative. Okay, so they bring all the farmers milk. Yeah, around here, yes. Okay. So now they're measuring and then at the end of the month they pay the Look farmers. Look at the coming. And that's our fresh milk. Oh, wow, wow. Yes. Oh my gosh! And there's our Coca-Cola milk. Delicious. <laughs> Are you gonna share it with your brother? Maybe. <laughs> We can see a big preparation is going on in this place, okay? This place, the temple, Tamsing Monastery. Good message, temple, okay? Which was built in early 1500s, like 1501, by great treasure revealer. Really, in the 8th century, really which has hidden the treasures in the rock, in the air, in the gorge, elsewhere. A hidden. Treasure can be like a text or, or object, anything. So, whenever he has hidden a treasure, he always predicted that that person is going to be born and he's going to discover those treasures. Pema Lingpa, the founder of this temple, was one of the great treasures in Bilal. Discovered many treasures, okay? And today, our royal family is a descendant of this treasure in Bilal. Now, very soon, they're going to conduct special prayer ritual for the Pema Lingpa, the founder of this temple, okay? And they're preparing for this, okay? Now this ritual cakes here is from the door. Look at that. Door. Well, that's a buckwheat flower. flower. Wheat flower, okay, wheat flower. So before they part from any rituals, ceremonies, they have to make a ritual cake. Now ritual cake represent or is a symbol of you know uh, the the deities, protected deities can be wrathful deities, can be peaceful deities. Through their prayer, it's going to get light. Then it's going to play an active role to make rid of all the bad luck, mm -hmm. negative uh, in emotions or bad spirits whatsoever. Okay? And of this ritual cake, they are making for tomorrow. Tomorrow being a new year in our lunar calendar. For Bhutanese, Bhutan people, especially for the Buddhists, tomorrow is a new year. So they are going to conduct special chanting ceremony prayers tomorrow for half day. Maybe the blessing for two uh, start or begin a new year with the happiness and end with the happiness. <laughs> Luca's ringing the bell. The ladies like him. Mommy? <laughs> Good job, Luca. <laughs> this dough, okay? Mixed with the water. Yeah. Make like a clay, you wanna see? And they do mix with the sugar sometimes, okay. it depends. Huh? They are playing ghee on it so that it's not going to get rot. Ghee. The white okay. one is ghee. Then after ghee, then you see the butter. They are going to color the butter. Okay. Dye it, I mean to say. Okay. And make flowers, put flowers on it. It's going to make a, so intricate patterns. So in the shine rooms, they have big ones with the flower, so decorated. Okay. Look at Oh, you did almost good. Good help. <laughs> of course, better. Yes, you have to learn. Don't put together. Make it to a circle. Can we help you? Yeah. 
Today, Cousin Mona and my Luca, they are making the offering for the ceremony tomorrow. They are going to do tomorrow in this temple. Yeah, the monk, they're having fun to teach them how to do it. I'm condensing it all. There are two boys? Two ox, I said two ox. Yak butter. Yak butter. Okay, yak butter. Luca, do you want to stay here as a monk like that? Mm -hmm. Then we are going to ship you here <laughs> and, and uh, put a red rope on you. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Oh, good! <laughs> he said, yeah. Help me? Help me? Okay, I'll help you. Wait a moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, you remember? Great. <laughs> oh, you make a shape. But they always make this shape or do they make different shapes too? Also different shape, but here they're making all the same one. They have to get exact number. Adventure trail in Bhutan today. The kids, they said to our guide that they want to have an adventure, and now we are. Okay, now we are throwing rock in the river. Get the rock. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Look, I think we're gonna cross the bridge. Are you excited? Let's go find the bridge. Good job! Go! Go, go, go! Go swimming! No! No! You're like me again! Oh, look at this bridge, guys! Wow! Let's go on the bridge! I used to ride a horse on this! Before they completed that bridge! Well, I guess we're going! On the plank, okay? This bridge. Ah! It seems completely cuckoo. Bridge, 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 bridge. Woo! Okay, uh, I'm just gonna let you guys go through. So, what happens if you fall? Oh, I died there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you come. Um. Go, go. Okay. Go. Thanks. <laughs> Look at Emma's face. Don't go on this bridge. That was terrible. There was some of the some of the wood is it was like wiggling. I thought I was gonna fall. <sighs> right. Okay. Okay. So if you took if you take this bridge, no. uh, good for you. If you don't, bad for you. And I mean not bad, uh, not in the, not in a mean way, but uh, if you don't take this bridge. To Sky Toy YouTube channel! Goodbye! Bye. Okay, now we are on the beach, the one that Lucas said was a beach. Not sure 
how authentic the sand is. The rocks are from here. <laughs> and the water. Look, look. Had fish is going to come. Look, 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 look there. Woman, huh? Fish can hear us, okay? <laughs> Oh, look, look, huh? look, huh? look! Okay, now that's a food. Try it, try it. Okay, okay. You can come. Dogs like Bhutan. So this temple is called? Kuji. Uh, Kurji. Ku means uh, body. J means print. Where Guru Rinpoche, where he left his, his print. body print. Okay. Print inside the first temple. So this is the important temple. So why do you want this one? one? Yes. Okay. And the second, later on, first king. So when he was a governor, he built the temple. And the third temple was built uh, by the queen mother. Oh, the so mother. these are three temples? Yes, yes. Three buildings, yeah. Three buildings. Okay. Built by a different person. So that's basically attached to the cave? Because they were saying how his print is in the cave? Yes, yes. So it's attached to the cave? Yes, yes. Oh, it's, I it's see. It's inside the okay. temple. And all these little buildings here, what are those? Like this one, that one? Uh, that one is where we offer a bottle lamp. That's a stupa. Okay. The stupa for memory. Yeah. And again, this is also for the butter lamp where we offer a butter lamp. So before we used to offer a butter lamp inside the temple, it doesn't mean that we don't offer, we offer. So one or two. So most, because the most of the temple in the monastery were burned by butter lamp. That's why like we have a separate room where we oh. offer a butter lamp. So what is butter lamp? Where we offer a butter and, and a light. Oh, okay. And they cause the burning? Uh, yes, yes, because oh. of the wind, you know. Oh. And oh, so that way, that way they don't burn this, but they just burn yeah, that if yeah, they have yeah, to. Yeah. Okay, yeah. makes sense. Steep steps as usual. <laughs> oh yes. Take your food. Come slowly. No, 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 keep me Oh This is what we call butter lamp offering. This is fresh one. So they prepare them and then you can make an offering. Oh yes, yes, yes. So before we use the butter from the cow and yak, oh. now we get available the ready meat, the butter, butter from the market. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. People the still, still they do offer <laughs> butter from the cow and yak. Oh, I never so cotton wick and butter, that's how they make it. Wow. And so they're they are just making it or cl they're cleaning them. Uh, they're cleaning. They're cleaning. Yeah. So once it the light goes off, you know. Yeah. They they clean with the uh, hot water. They, they just rub it. So then they just put the butter back in and, and the cotton. and the cotton wick. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, Cosimo is counting them. <laughs> You guys carrying these very precious gold rocks has these defines them. Okay, we're gonna go into temple. So no cameras, no shoes, and no videos. It's not really you can't see it, but no videos along. Luca brought all his treasures to the temple. 
Tell me about it. What does it say? Okay. I'm gonna go see where Guru Rinpoche left his imprint. <laughs> so why do they say that this is a holy water? It is like this holy water was created by Guru Rinpoche. Oh, okay. That's why it's holy water. So people come here and get the holy yes, water? Yes, people, they come here and get holy water. Okay. And it is believed that when we drink a holy water, it purifies all the negative sins. And it is believed that it's going to cure the disease. Ah, so, and people, every time they come here, they go around and... Yes, yes. Pray, I mean, do mantras before... While they wait for the water to come out. Yes, yes. And that's the only place where you can get it? Oh, yes. From that? Yes. Maybe she's waiting for her turn and then time she's making she's a round. mantra. She's chanting a mantra of Guru Rinpoche. It doesn't matter what you chant, what you, what you chant, you know, it can be a mantra of compassion, but it can be a mantra of Guru Rinpoche, it can be a mantra of uh, Tara, you know. Uh -huh. It depends uh, person to person. Right. But mostly, they chant the mantra of Guru Rinpoche and the mantra of Compassion Buddha. Because these mantras are believed to be very powerful mantras. So we're hiking to the next temple. It's big. Okay, Luca is going to fall. <laughs> gonna... So we're going from one temple to the other on foot. And... There is this little bridge. Of course, Luca has to throw rocks in the water. There you go, Luca. Okay, let's cross the bridge now. Luca, we have to cross the bridge. Let's go, honey. Cow is not moving. <laughs> Do cows Good. kick? Oh, okay. These women are resting. Okay, you might not want to bend him. He doesn't have like cows. Stay on the side. Follow him. What's the name of this temple? Uh, Jambi Lakhang. And this is dedicated to Buddha Rinpoche or? Future Buddha. Future Buddha. Okay. His future name, Buddha. Yeah, future Buddha. Okay. His name is Joe Jamba. Okay. And uh, the name derived from the statue which we have inside. Five. We have a statue of future Buddha, Jambi Lakhang. It's a very old temple. It was built in 7th century. This is where we make a smoke offering. Where we put the pine leaves and make a smoke now to appreciate the local deity. Yeah. It's done every morning. And when we have a ritual performances, when we have ceremony, so they do morning and evening. It's done by the caretaker, the one who takes care of the temple. Luca. What is found? Oh, money, pay me for it. Do you want to charge the mantra? What is it? Oh, money, pay me for it. Oh, no, money, pay me for it. It's a mantra of the Kakashi Buddha. Oh, oh, money, pay me for it. So this is the original courtyard. Oh yes, and this is the main temple, which is back from the 7th century. And the first Buddhist king, when he built the temple, so he built 108 temple in one day, in order to subdue the demon, you know. Oh. The demon was, was causing harm to the people, and she don't want to spread the Buddhism. 
and the first Buddhist king, Songsun Gempo. So he's from Tibet and he subdued the, the, the demon and then he built the hundred and temples all over her body. So this temple is believed to be built in the left foot, left foot of the demon. Uh, Counting. So how many times they make a made a round? So this is the, someone that put their yes, rocks. Yes, yes. The they go people. all around the the, the, the temple. temple here, and then when, when they finish once, they will uh, keep the stone here, and at the end they will count how many times they made a uh, round here. Bitter nut. Oh yeah. Don't yeah. Bitter leaf and that's a arika nut. And she's going to add calcium carbonate, a lime, and mix it. And she's going to chew. So she wait that. What's that hard part? That's a arika nut. And so it. Bitter leaf, and I'm a tuni Yeah, yeah. Wait. She's going to show us a. Uh, Lime, the calcium covenant. Because of the calcium covenant, that's a calcium covenant. Because of that calcium covenant, makes us warm. So it's called calcium carbonate. Lime, lime. Lime. <laughs> See? Oh, so she puts it on the leaf. Yeah. And then she puts the nut together, and and then she's going to chew. Don't mess it. Yeah. And so she chews it because she's saying she feel very cold here and she's chewing she she started to chew it betel nut oh. and now she like it very much. <laughs> but do the people get addicted to it? Yeah, yeah. She can't uh, crush the nut. Oh, okay. So she crushes it. Yes. And so does she do you when you put it in your mouth you chew it or you kind of suck on it? Chew it. Chew it. Yes. And you feel and it makes you feel warm right away. Yes. yes. So the only one of the negative effects though is that you might have your teeth become really red. Oh yes. And then and the lips of getting too. Get, uh, mouth cancer. <laughs> Yeah, we noticed that what some the lip the, on the side where they chew is a little more like droopy. Yes, yes. Wow, she really smashes it. Because she's old and she can't uh, crush the nut. Yeah. And sometimes like old men and old women, they carry a small container and they put the nut inside the container and with the help of uh, something, they, they crush it and make it powder and then they chew it. See? <laughs> oh, oh, cheers! Yeah. Mm. She's saying very cool here and she started to chew. Now she likes it very much. Uh, so now she's warmer. See here? This is the place where she crashed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>